Julia Lobu Said is the chief executive of Advantage Travel Partnership, and that is the UK's largest network of independent travel agents. Julia joins us now to 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 discuss the. Is this true, Julia? Is, can this be true if Tui says it's true? Good evening. Um, well, not not necessarily. I think what we are seeing is prices. You know, prices are increasing. Obviously, we're in an inflationary environment, and therefore, um, airlines and and tour operators have underlying extra costs that they're they're building into their pricing. And I think that's that's you know we we've got to, got to kind of accept that. Um, but even if you look today and you look at prices that are available, you know, and if you're travelling in particular outside of peak season, you can still get prices from 20 i mean Ryanair is selling 25.99 to Milan in June so um prices are still there um you know at, i mean you know could argue that's still affordable they're not 4.99 like they used to be but um yeah. i think you know if you're if you're looking to travel out of season um it's not unrealistic to expect there to still be some great offers um, at great okay. prices but underlying costs as you say have gone up um jet fuel has sp- spiked up $175 a barrel. I'm not sure what it is now. And also, this is a big summer. You know, this is one of the first summers since the pandemic. So is it also to do with uh, demand vastly exceeding supply that's led to to the end of low-cost air travel? I, I think that's a really important point. And I, I think there are probably three really key parts. I think one, there is, as you say, the, the year where travel has come back and it's the first year for the last couple of years. So demand is really at a high. Um, there is inflation pressures, obviously, as, as we talked about there. Um, you know, if you're traveling in peak season, you know, the demand is far outstripping in some destinations the supply. I mean, I think also there is, there is a, um, you know, the airlines in particular, they are having to pay more for investment into getting themselves to net zero. So car- decarbonization is, is ramping prices up. Um, and that inevitably in the short term requires a lot more investment from the airlines and that will be fed back to the consumer in terms of pricing. And just lastly, even if you find a cheap, uh, a discounted price out of season, because of course we're, it's too late to get um, a summer cheap airfare, I think. I often find that once you've added on the taxes and the airport things and the VAT, it's no longer a cheap flight anyway. I think that's a really good point. I think, you know, the big thing that we really need is the transparency on pricing, because you're right, you go in and it starts off at one price, the time you've added bits on. Um, and your baggage. And Abs- a, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. And your seat, you know, you buy a seat and then you pay for your seat. Yeah, I, I absolutely right. So my advice is really for anyone that hasn't booked and they're looking to go away this summer, think about where you want to go. Think about who you book with. If you're booking, um, if you need accommodation, you're booking a package holiday, inevitably that will work out better. Um, and check out your local travel agent who can really help put some expertise around what it is that you're looking for. Thank you very much, Julia Lobu Saeed, who's the Chief Executive at Advantage Travel Partnership.